Hi, I'm Louise Cutting from Cutting Line Designs. I want to show you how to add width across the bust area without putting a bust dart in. There are times when you don't want a bust dart in a garment. If there's a plaid or a stripe or a rather large print and the dart would start to mess up the print. So what we want to do is we want to add width. Now this is not going to add any length to it, but it will add width across the bust area. You have to measure yourself to begin with. You have to get two measurements so that you know where to start on the garment. You have to measure yourself right from underneath your earlobe at your neck down to where your bust point is. Do this in front of a mirror. When the tape measure falls away from the body, that's how deep you are. I always jokingly say this is a pencil measurement because that measurement will get longer as you get older. The other measurement you want to take is how far apart are the two girls. The apex to the apex, that's half the measurement. You're going to measure from your front, center front line, not your front fold or your front seam line, but your center front line over. So our gal that we measured is eight inches apart. So this is four inches and she's about 11 inches down. So that's exactly where this measurement is and that's what we need to measure too. So we are par parallel to center front and we're going to come up to our shoulder line about two inches from the shoulder seam and we're going to have a hinge here and then we're going to draw a line perpendicular to center front over to our side seam and that's where your hinge is going to be here. Now remember your hinges need to be at your stitching line. You're going to cut over to their stitching line and you're going to cut into your stitching line. This little piece here will be pulled out. This has now given you about one inch extra. What you need to do on yourself is measure from side seam to side seam on your body or one of your favorite garments to see how big this should be. This is what needs to be pulled out. Now this is giving you a little bit of extra room at the upper chest area through the bust area and it's giving you the same amount all the way down the center front. The next sample I'm going to show you if you don't need it down here we can bring this side back in. But in this example you need to true up your side. You can see where the hinge was brought a little bit of a poke out here and you have to true up your shoulder seam because there's a little divot here. So this is the one that has the even width all the way down. If you don't need it down at the bottom we're going to bring it back in so that your hem area is exactly the same width. You do have to true up your hem because it will make a jog right down here. So the only thing you've done is given yourself the width at your bust area. Nothing has to happen in the back because you didn't change your shoulder seams so everything will fit when you sew your shoulder seams together.